Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and thank you, panel, for coming today. I, uh, I want you all to do me a big favor. Put a big smile on your faces. <laughs> this should be such a happy, happy hearing. And believe me, I've sat in a number of hearings that are not happy. Uh, you all are a huge success story. You all are, especially you two right there, you're the future. You are the future. You are the face of education in this country. Um, I come from Illinois. In Illinois, we have a new mayor of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel. And I think a couple days ago, Mr. Emanuel was asked, where is where's he going to send his kids to school now that he's moving back to Chicago? And I believe his answer, and I don't want to get it wrong, was, uh, I, I don't know, it could be public, could be private, could be religious, could be charter, um, but that's going to be the decision my wife and I make, and I, I would just ask that you respect that decision. How refreshing. I want you to do something that might be terribly, yes, clap. Do something that the four of you might not want to do. Pretend you're politicians for a minute. <laughs> Put on your political hats. Try to give me short answers. Politicians don't give short answers. Do your best. Um, why do you think it is that there are people in this country, think like a politician, that don't want you to have this choice. Be brief. Think like a politician. Why is it that people don't want to give you that choice? Let's start here. Well, if it is, if how could you oppose of such program as No, 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 Mr. Hollis, with all due respect, that's not what I asked. Oh. But you know what? You're going to make a good politician because you didn't answer the question. <laughs> I want, I want a straight, direct answer out of you. Why do you think it is that there are people who don't want you to have this choice? Simple. Why? Other priorities. What that come give, before? Give me one priority that might come before. Before your parents having that choice. It can be political decisions. Political. Miss Alvarez, why do you think there are some people? that don't want your parents to have a choice? I really don't understand why they wouldn't want us to have the choice or my parents to have the choice. It's, I don't understand. It's just not a right choice to make to not want our parents to put us in a good school. Ms. Jackson, be political for me. <laughs> Come on. Why do you think it is there are people that do not want you to have that choice, this choice? Come on. Um, honestly speaking, sir, I believe they don't even know why, truly. They don't want our children to have the same valued and um, quality education as their children do. It's all politics, and if you get right down to it, it stems from money. Maybe I've asked a bad question. <laughs> if, you had, if, you, <laughs> if you had to guess, Ms. Bennett, and you can start, who doesn't want you to have that choice? Who do you think it is that doesn't want you to have this choice? It's probably, to me, it's probably the NEA. The NEA is who? The National Education Association. The teachers unions. And it's probably the uh, public schools, of course, the public school and private school sector. And it's the opposers that know that this program works. All right, now this is getting a little fun. Now play, <laughs> Ms. Bennett, play a game with me. If, take the teachers' unions. Okay. Just think off the top of your head, why would they not want parents to ultimately have choice? Because they would choose what's better for their kids. And if they did that, what might happen? They would lose a lot of their jobs because they would take them and put them to the private schools and take them out. We're of getting somewhere. <laughs> um, if... Oh, and I'm running out of time. Uh, uh, if this program succeeds, Ms. Alvarez, if, if, D, if the DC scholarship program succeeds, uh, what will that show people? It will show people that, <clears throat> excuse me, it will show people that our kids, uh, uh, everybody, the kids have a future and have something to look forward to. Mr. Hollisey, who would be afraid of the fact that the hmm. program might succeed? People who are in opposition of this program. 
um, and our, our ranking member uh, very eloquently, I thought, said that this is an issue all about power, mm. and it is about power. I think the nuance that I would add is that when it comes to educating our kids, who should have that power? Pretty simple question, right? When it comes to educating our kids, should it be us up here? No. Uh, should it be the teachers? Should it be the administrators? Should it be the governor? Should it be who should have the power, the power when it comes to deciding where a child goes to school? This should be a one word answer. Ms. Bennett? The parents. Ms. Jackson? I agree. Ms. Alvarez, who should have that power? I agree with the parents. You're not going to dissent, are you, Mr. Halsey? <laughs> he wouldn't sure. dare. Thank you. Thank you all four for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Walsh. Uh, the chair